Hey, Satanico here once again for God Loves Comics. I told you I had a lot of different batches of comics for comics hauls, and so here is another one. And as you can see already up on the boards is Conan number 97. And that looks like a great John Bashima and probably Ernie Chan cover. I love Ernie Chan's inks. Um, so I got this lot and I got it for only $25. Now, once they, you know, added in tax and shipping, it was up to $40, which, uh, really sucks. I mean, it's just a, a huge expenditure, but, um, I think this is, I think I got 12 comics here, or maybe I'm thinking of another batch, but we'll, we'll see as we go along. But, um, so here is 98 and this is John Bashima and Ernie Chan again. And here is 99 with Thor battling the Teenage Mutant Ninja Crab Turtles. Also Bashima and Chan. Here is number 120. I'm not quite sure. I think that's still John Bashima. But I'm not sure if he inked it himself or who inked that. And then again, not even I'm not quite sure again who this cover that is. Oops, there goes one. They have no boards behind them. They are all bagged, and they were actually in really nice condition. They look like they've gone unread. Now none of these comics are worth very much. They're only worth uh, these are only worth uh, three or four dollars a piece. Um, a couple of the earlier ones are worth maybe about five, but uh, you will see why I paid what I did, why I was so happy to pay $25 for this batch. Aside from the art, primarily, I've always liked Conan anyway. Um, <clears throat> this again is John Bashima. Um Getting cancelled, Conan toppled by a midget magus. Hmm. Now he would be a little person. Or a dwarf. And more Jean Bashima, number 124. And this is interesting because this is Jean Bashima inked by Terry Austin. And you can just see Terry Austin's style there. You know, uh, it's a little bit different, but uh, you can see it just kind of brings things, you know, this one, this just looks much different than this. Uh, I really like Terry Austin's inks. He, he just looks good over everybody. And then here's a shift, and I was actually happy about the shift. I love John Bashima's work. Uh, I love it with Ernie Chan. I like seeing the Terry Austin. And, of course, I love Gil Kane as well. And this is 128, a Gil Kane cover. <clears throat> this is 129, a Gil Kane cover. Very distinctive style of Gil Kane, completely different than Bashima, even though both are masters. And the really fascinating thing about Conan is that initially John Bashima was tapped to do Conan number one, but Martin Goodman, uh, Marvel's edit, Marvel's owner at the time, nicks that idea because Bashima was just too expensive. And, uh, they didn't expect Conan to be a blockbuster. They really had no idea what it was going to do. And, um, but they wanted a sword and sorcery comic book. And, um, so they had to go with Barry Windsor Smith. They actually thought about Gil Kane as well, because Gil Kane would have loved to have done it. He was a big Robert E. Howard fan, but he also was very expensive because these were two of Marvel's premier comics artists in terms of their, just their incredible skill level and their incredible productivity. So they ended up going with a young Barry Windsor Smith who wasn't quite ready, to be honest. Uh, and you can see it in a lot of the early pages where it was just a matter of a, a young artist being rushed and, and pressured to complete um, a full comic book in such a short amount of time. But uh, obviously the rest is history. And then Bashima was able to take over later, and Gil Kane also did a lot of work on Conan, so it all worked out. And it lasted quite a few issues. As you can see, this is issue number 130, another Gil Kane. 
and this is 131. Not really one of his better covers, even though the lighting is nice here. This is still looks very much like Gil Kane. And not really one of John Bashima's better covers. I actually have this issue already. It's not really worth anything. But then finally, here is the nice little surprise in this batch is Conan number nine. Now I already have two or three issues of this. But when I saw this in there, I was like, and they only had it listed for $25. I was just waiting for somebody to see this and pop in a bit on this because it's such a cheap, you know, lot, um, especially for Bronze Age comics. And then to pick up a number nine, this comic alone as a $30, $40 comic, it actually is in quite nice shape. It's got a little bit of a rolled spine, but other than that, it looks really good. I mean, I would say it's probably a 6.0. And uh, so this is a $30 or $40 comic, and that pays for the entire batch. So it's absolutely worth it. And uh, very happy to get another one of these and very happy to get this entire batch with uh, John Bashima, Ernie Chan, Terry Austin, and of course the great Gil Kane as well. And now we're going to switch gears yet again. And this is a Silver Age batch. And you may recognize this artist. This might be a guy named Jack Kirby, probably working with a guy named Vinnie Coletta. And that is the second appearance of Mangog. Now, this is probably only a 10 or $15 book. You can see right where my thumb is, there is a big chunk missing. It is also kind of fried around the edges, if you can see that. Um, but still, it is a Silver Age Jack Kirby. I already have an issue of this. I already have a copy. I've had probably two copies. I think I may have sold one, and I still have a nicer one than this, of course. But uh, that's good still. It's, uh, and by the way, this is uh, six stores. Um, bidding was pretty hot and heavy on this. I ended up paying $74. Again, got chilled on um, shipping and taxes. But still, I think it came out quite well on this. $74 for um, six Silver Age, Jack Kirby, Stanley, Vinny Coletta, Thors. This is $157. It's probably a $30 comic. Again, you know, this is in better condition. Um, but uh, some of these have a, a tiny bit of writing on them. Very faint, like somebody was trying to write a price. Uh, this is one I don't have also. Um, very nice. So I'm looking forward to looking through t the Kirby art. Um, I would say the Thor may be my favorite Kirby run of all time and I don't give a flying fuck what people say about Vinny Coletta I mean he did a stellar job on this yes he may have erased a few pencils yes that's heresy but uh Jack Kirby actually chose Vinny Coletta he didn't have to he, you know it wasn't as if Vinny Coletta was assigned to him only by Stan Lee Jack Kirby chose Vinny Coletta to work with him on Spirit World and people never mentioned that Kirby acolytes and who salivate and drool and foam at the mouth at the mention of uh, Vinnie Coletta, never mentioned the fact that Jack Kirby chose Vinnie to ink him on Spirit World, which he was, Jack Kirby was the editor-in-chief. He was in complete control of that, that comic magazine. Very unusual comic magazine. I actually saw one um, uh, listed on eBay, and I was watching it, but I forgot when it came up for auction, and... I don't know. I didn't sell for that much. It was probably, I don't, I don't remember exactly. This has a little bit of writing on it. I also have this copy as well. Again, this is probably a $25, $30 comic in this condition. In better condition, it's a $50, $60 comic. Um, but this is probably, again, probably about 4.0. And that's generous, but I think that's, that's reasonable. And then this, these last three really kind of shoot up a lot more in price if the condition is around the, even just a five and a half or a six, 6.5. These are still probably in the 4.5 range, maybe squeezing in a 5.0. I'm not sure. This one actually looks quite nice, even though it's still got that uh, kind of uh, sun damage around the edges. But this is 161. And you can see Ego there, you can see Galactus there, and Galactus apparently is very hot now, so um, 
you know, any Galactus books are heating up. Anytime you see, get to see Jack Kirby drawing Galactus uh, and Thor, and you get to see um, Stan Lee writing it. And Stan Lee did write it. He did write the dialogue, my friends. Um, that's a treat. So this is 160. A beautiful, beautiful cover. Fantastic cover of Thor and obviously Galactus again. And again, you know, at least a $40 book. I think in this condition, uh, it does have a couple of creases. It's a little, got a little, a little beat up on the corner there. Another in that the spine looks great. Pretty much. Yeah. It's mid grade, probably a 4.5 or so. Still, I think a 35, $40 book. And then last but not least is 162. And again, this is Galactus a Borning. So all three of these kind of the Galactus saga featuring ego as well. Um, the uh, Heroes 3, I think, uh, Balder, Hogan, and Volstag. Oh, and Sif is in there as well. Thor, of course, another great cover. So just uh, masterful stuff here. Classic Silver Age stuff. Uh, some of my favorite stuff from the Silver Age in terms of art is Jack Kirby's Thor. So that is it. You get Gods and Barbarians. Um, and combined the, in terms of the actual auction price, only a hundred dollars for this whole lot of both Conan, $25 and Thor, $74. But then of course the shipping and the taxes, but even that considered, as I said, $74 and you've got multiple 30, $40 books here, the Conan, the Conan number nine with Barry Windsor Smith's art uh, pays for the whole lot. So that's that. And I'm pretty happy with it. So that is another haul. I will be back with another one again soon. I'm going to roll them out here. And I've got some really, really cool features coming up that are not going to be hauls, that are going to be more news oriented, uh, more um, comics history oriented. I've never gotten into video editing and I really need to, but, uh, man, I'm just going to do a little bit of loose stuff, but, uh, yeah, I've got stuff written and, uh, that's going to be coming out soon. Hopefully if I don't get too lazy, but that's it for this haul. And thanks again. And please like comment and subscribe. And you can also join the God loves comics thriving Facebook page which has uh, 1,400 members and counting uh, over on Facebook, of course. Just go and uh, attempt to join, and I will approve you. And that's it for now. Thanks very much for listening, and we will see you next time on God Loves Comics. Bye.